At Pathway Caring for Children, we build new beginnings. When the Millers adopted JJ and Jake, just three and four years old, the little boys had already experienced tremendous trauma and upheaval, and that suffering will always be a part of them. Pathway has supported the Millers from the moment they walked in the door, hoping to add to their family through adoption. And it's been kind of tough because he does question why he's with us, why he can't be with them. And uh, we've been going through counseling with Cindy at Pathway, and she's really helped us a lot. She's taken us back to telling them their story, how it started, and how they got moved and how they got placed with, with us. And JJ really has a good understanding now of why he's with us. And we use um, the meaning that God has chosen for him to be with us, and, and that's why he's with us. <laughs> When we went to first visit them, uh, that's when we just had the, the feeling like you were on a roller coaster. It was, it was the scariest moment, but it was like the best moment we, we had ever felt, and, and that's really the moment that we knew we were going to be parents. <laughs> JJ and Jake have been blessed with a family and community that have embraced them and will work to keep them connected to their cultural heritage. It's a good beginning. I think Pathway is very special because we have all three pieces of the placement puzzle. We have foster care services. We, we can do the adoption services for the family and the children. And we have post-adoption support services to support the family in the process of taking care of children. It's very rare for agencies to be able to do this, but uh, we feel that it's very important for the children that we, we serve to have this uh, comprehensive service. You know, even if an adoption gets off to a very good start, things can go wrong later on. Children go through different phases of their lives. The hormones may start pumping, and as a result, they have behavioral problems and difficulties, and the family, you know, just needs to be supported. We want to be there for the families to support them in the process of taking care of children. Children may go through a period of peaceful adjustment for five, even 10 years before old issues emerge. Pathways post-adoption program gives adoptive families long-term support. It offers an opportunity for parents, adoptive parents of troubled children to gather together and to first of all learn that they're not alone. The Duckworths home is bursting with energetic youngsters. They have biological children and grandchildren, foster children and adoptive children. Um, my family, uh, they vary from four years old to 23. They provided a foster home for James and became determined to adopt him. But there were roadblocks everywhere they turned. They were very uh, supportive of us because um, it seemed like paperwork done and then come right back we have some more paperwork to do and Mr. Bridges and uh, Miss Daler and I all became very close. They were babies when we first took them in so naturally you know you have a baby a couple of little kids who are infant childs and uh, you have them for a few years and then you just uh, you know naturally you want to adopt. It's a promising start. Today Diane and Brittany are a strong mother-daughter team, but it wasn't always that way. Theirs is a story that gives other adoptive parents hope. She had lots of problems and um, made home life a war zone constantly. And uh, she was in counseling from the time she was four. Pathway probably is the only reason my husband and I were able to stay together because at one point it was so hard at home that we just couldn't cope and a friend told us about Pathway um, and we came to a meeting and first the girls you know fought us on it and didn't want to come and then they realized when they got together with other adopted kids that it was really cool. Um, now looking back I can see her using these counseling years in her marriage and with her children and with um, people that she comes in contact with. And I think, okay, God, that was a good thing for us to stick it out even if we saw no progress. I have to pinch myself to know that this beautiful young adult woman who is spiritual and well-grounded and handling difficult situations so well is my child. 
It's a promising beginning for Brittany and her children. We provide a time and a quiet place for children to um, grow and to learn to trust so that the Lord can provide the healing. Treatment foster care is different from regular fo family foster care in that uh, we train our foster families from the very beginning. First of all, to expect that they're going to be working with children who have emotional problems, behavioral issues, um, children who have been traumatized. We train them to uh, in learning new behavioral tech management techniques, um, how to be more patient with a child because you know the trauma that they have been through. Many of the kids who come to us have to relearn appropriate behavior and that's a task that doesn't happen in a day or a week, it's ongoing. Pathway has strong and innovative foster care, counseling and adoptive programs that serve children from seven counties. Pathway Family Homes are specially designed and built to enable foster parents to supervise and care for children with severe emotional and behavioral problems in a safe, supportive family atmosphere. I have heard people within not only the Stark County community but other communities say Pathway offers something that no other entity or no other agency presents. We have a lot of families that come to us who need post-adoption services, especially respite. And they just get to the point where they're like, I can't handle this kid anymore. Could you please help me out here? We set them up with respite and um, just work through that process. And amazingly enough, for a lot of our families, that's all they need is a break, you know. And the child needs a break too, you know. And it gives them the time to, to collect themselves and then come back together. And um, it helps them to continue to adopt, to parent their child. Government alone cannot pay for these services. We need the contributions of people like you in order to do these things for children. Please consider a generous gift so that children like JJ and Jake and James and Brittany can have a happy beginning.